grandson of Suleyman Shah, eldest son of Ertel Ghazi, loyal brother and supporter of Usman Ghazi, who was Gunduz Alp. Gunduz Alp was among the early Ghazis of the Ottoman Empire, whom had devoted their lives to the establishment of a great state. Moreover, the feats and exploits of Gunduz Alp proved him to be one of the fiercest warriors of the Ottomans. And so, what has history said about the Ottoman hero, Gunduz Alp? Gunduz Alp was born in Sud in the year 1229. He grew up in the household of Ertel Ghazi as his eldest son and had the honor and privilege of accompanying him on many campaigns and expeditions. Gunduz proved to be a real branch of support to his father, becoming his close confidant and companion. This sense of responsibility and ambition truly gave Gunduz Alp experience and intellect at a young age. Gunduz Bey was said to have been in his mid-twenties in the year 1258 when his youngest brother, Usman I, was born. Due to the old age of his parents, Gunduz's brother, Usman, was considered a miracle sent by God. Usman's intelligence, foresight, and valor truly made him a very commendable leader. Moreover, Gunduz's father, Ertan Ghazi, had entrusted the responsibilities of the Kai tribe to Usman, making it clear that Usman was destined to become the Bey of the tribe. Gunduz Bey was a strong, faithful supporter of his brother, Usman Ghazi, though on occasions there were disagreements between him and Usman. In fact, Gunduz had at first not accepted Usman's position as the Bey of the Kai tribe. Moreover, Gunduz and Usman had disagreements on how the tribe should be run and how they should react to their neighbors. However, the situation and thought of Gunduz Bey was not entirely similar to that of Dunder Bey's, as opposed to the latter. Osman Bey knew well that Gunduz had respect and obedience for his authority, despite their difference of opinion. After Osman established the Ottoman state, Gunduz was with him in just about every mission and was a core layer of support to him. He fought countless battles and made a name for himself as one of the Ottoman Empire's fiercest warriors. As a result of Gunduz Alp's loyalty, ability, and service to the Ottoman state, Osman granted him authority over a large region where he would serve as the governor of Eskishit. Not to mention, Gunduz would then have two valorous sons, Eidodo and Akhtimur. Like his father, Eidodo Bey was an excellent warrior who had his name written among history's most fearsome swordsmen. His younger brother, Akhtimur Bey, too, would serve as a talented soldier and government official during the establishment phase of the Ottoman Empire. And so, the two brothers proved to be worthy of their father, Gunduz Bey, and would most certainly carry on his legacy. In 1303, Gunduz Alp would die the honorable death of a martyr, fighting gallantly in battle, sacrificing his life for his nation. He was buried in Inigal, Turkey, though an honorary grave was built for him in Sud at Ertun Rahazi's mausoleum, along with all the other early Ottoman heroes. And today, Gunduz Alp has proven to be a very highly esteemed and respected historical figure whose legacy will forever remain in the hearts of his people, the soil of his homeland.